Good morning. I'm Ian Gandal, the Chairman of Alcane Resources, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the annual general meeting of our company. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the lands and custodians on which we are meeting and pay my respects to those elders past and present. I also extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here today. I'm joined in Perth by my fellow board members, Nick Erner, Ian Chalmers, and online by Gavin Smith and Anthony Tony or Tony Lethlane. Also in attendance are James Carter, the CFO and Company Secretary, Dennis Wilkins, the Joint Company Secretary, and Helen Bathurst from Auditors Price Waterhouse Coopers. Mr. Kieran Brown from Autonic, the company's share registry, is also in attendance and will be the returning officer for the purposes of the con conduct of the voting poll of this meeting. The formalities of today will follow the common format for AGMs. Voting will be conducted by way of a poll on all, all items of business and a polling card should have been provided to you uh, on entry today. If you've lodged your votes by submitting a proxy vote from, uh, from prior to the start of the meeting and you would like your proxy votes to stand, you do not need to take any further action. Completed polling cards will be collected by the representatives of the share registry at the conclusion of the meeting. Voting results will be po posted on the ASX announcement platform later today. There will be an opportunity to ask questions on today's business after all of the resolutions have been put to the meeting. And I'll address any written questions uh, submitted by email from those who are unable to be present in the room today. All questions will be addressed prior to the conduct of the poll. As a quorum in pres is present, I declare the meeting open. The proxies received for each item of business are now displayed on the screen. I declare that as chair of the meeting, I will be voting any available open uh, proxies in favour of each resolution. I inform shareholders that the minutes of the last year's meeting have been adopted as a correct record of the proceedings at that meeting. The minutes of the previous meeting are available for inspection should any shareholders wish to do it please contact me after the meeting. I'll now move on to the business of the meeting. The first item of business is to consider the financial report for the year ended 30th of June 2023, which is now tabled. The auditor, Helen Bathurst of PricewaterhouseCoopers, will be available to respond to any questions on the financial statements or on the conduct of the audit during question time. We'll now proceed to consider the proposed resolutions on today's agenda. The first resolution is the adoption of the remuneration report. This re resolution is set out in the notice of meeting and as displayed on the screen, along with the proxy votes received on the resolution. I now put the resolution to the meeting and move on to the next item of business, which is resolution two, and it relates to the election of Mr. or re-election of Mr. Gavin Smith as a director. This resolution is set out in the notice of meeting and as displayed on the screen, along with the proxy votes received on this resolution. I now put this resolution to the meeting and move to the next item of business, which is Resolution 3, 
which relates to the approval of the grant of performance rights to Mr Nick Erner. This resolution is, is also as set out in the notice of meeting and displayed on the screen, along with the proxy votes received on this resolution. I now put this resolution to the meeting and move to the next item of business, which is resolution number four, which relates to the approval of the grant of performance rights to Mr Ian Chalmers. This resolution is as set out in the notice of meeting and as displayed on the screen, along with the proxy votes received on this resolution. I now put this resolution to the meeting and move to the next item of business, which is Resolution 5, regarding the approval of the grant of restricted performance rights to Mr Nick Erner. This is an ordinary resolution and I considered the resolution as displayed on the screen as having been read. The proxy votes received on this resolution are also displayed on the screen. I now put this resolution to the meeting and move to the next item of business, which is Resolution 6, regarding the approval of the grant of restricted performance rights to Mr Ian Chalmers. This resolution is as set out in the notice of meeting and as displayed on the screen, along with the proxy votes received on this resolution. Resolution 7 regarding the ratification of prior issue of shares. This resolution is as set out in the notice of meeting and as displayed on the screen along with the and is displayed on the screen uh, along with the proxy votes received on this resolution. These shares were issued to Sandfire Resources Limited in consideration for the acquisition of additional tenements in the Central West and Riverina region of New South Wales. Thank you. As all of the, uh, all the, this covers all of the business for this meeting and all resolutions have now been put to the meeting, we can now move to question time. Firstly, to those present in the room, are there any questions of the board on any item of business or of the auditor or the financial statements or conduct of the audit? No questions? Thank you. Uh, we actually, uh, Dennis, we haven't received any uh, written, no, no written questions. questions. Okay, thank you. So thank you. If there are no questions from those present, um, I'll move on to uh, the next, which, which is basically the poll. So as mentioned earlier, if you'd like your proxy votes to stand, you do not need to take any further action. If you have not lodged a proxy form and wish to have your vote counted, or you wish to amend a proxy vote already lodged, Please complete your polling card and hand it in to Atomic staff, acting as a returning officer for today's meeting. Thank you all. I now declare the formal part of today's meeting closed and thank you for your participation. The results of the poll will be released to the ASX later today. I'd now like to invite our Managing Director, Nick Erner, to provide an update on the company's results so far for the year and an insight into what we can expect in the year to come. At the conclusion of Mr Erner's presentation, there'll be a further opportunity to ask questions. Nick. <laughs>